Yo guys, going on man, it's Cody here today, welcome back to another video man. Oh, my dog does some shaking stuff. Yeah, you got Pills United, Pills United, eh? Yeah, you got the Heart Cream United Cream Lord, Pack 23. And first of all, we've got a game against Bradford in the FA Cup, you can see it in actual smashing up there. So let's get on the way quickly with this game, and then I'm going to sim the, the, like, the other two games that we have, because I'm getting down to some good business. I've been doing some off camera, I've been looking for some players, that's the team by the way, you can see. I've been looking for some players and I might have found the good ones. So yeah, let's get into a game against Bradford City. Now Bradford City are the giant killers, right? They've beat Chelsea, they've beat Arsenal recently in the FA Cup, you know what I mean, over the years. And um, hopefully they don't beat us. That'd be good because I want to get far in this competition. So yeah, let's, let's do alright lads, let's do this. Get in. Right, Hawkins. Oh, he's offside. Yeah, I scored anyway. Hawkins. Nah. Oh, I just remember they got Brad Jones in goal. Okay. Ref. Ref. Oh, man. Ian Acho. Two. Brad. Brad. Oh. Get in. <laughs> I don't want to speak there. Get in. And I mean, they've got Brad Jones in goal. An ex Liverpool reject. But it's good save from him. But Carroll comes in and just tucks it in. An easy goal. Come on. I would love to get this win. Eh. Uh uh. Eh eh. Eh eh. Fucking hell, box all man, you're being in the heart of the defence today, kids. Fuck. Jeez. Lindy Harrison. Well in, box all, mate. J. Carroll, oh my days, what a save. Oh my days. There you go. Have a crack, mate. Just from. Oh, you fuck! Uh, that was. That was. Um. Um. Oh, God! Trying to get his sixth goal in the FA Cup in like three games. No, no, Gary Neville. Yes! Get in! Get in! Oh, my days. We're doing so well! We have eight shots on target out of the nine. And I mean, Brad Jones is a wonderful goalkeeper there and he smashed it. But uh, let's see what we're getting the next round, lads. Let's see what we're getting the next round. So no one's accepting the no one accepting the bids there, lads, for uh, James Collins. So it looks like none of the deals are actually going to go through, you know what I mean? All right, transfer off again for James Collins. Now, I'm seriously thinking of getting rid of him. But I don't know. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll say 1.2, mate. 1.2. Yeah, 1.2. It's uh, 1.3 because I know you can afford it because you're stingy bastards. We've came back and said 1 mil and 1.2 has been accepted by Real Zaragoza, I would be said. Um, so I'll say 1.2, 250 for these. Oh, okay. Well, James Collins has been sold to Real Zaragoza, I you say, for 1.2. we got 1 million in the bank. I mean, you do, you do this on a road to glory, I'm going to miss him. He was good. Uh, but we've got a game against Bury here, I'm going to sim it because we're at home, so why not? Let's fingers crossed that we get a win here because I want to keep our unbeaten January. Get in! McGlashan and Banton. Get in! Transfer off of Harry Wally. Now, this is going to happen death wars. He needs to go. He's not going to any game time at us. He is injured in real life, actually, for pulls. But I won't be able to play him, so he's going to go. I'm actually going to the same goal. I don't like selling all my pulls players, but it's going to have to happen. Right lads, so Tom Bradshaw is actually available for me to buy him on a pre-contract. Now on my other day in the crane mode, he's not working out. But, on this, he might work out, because I mean, I've got David Goodwillie coming to us at the end of the season. I'm going to try him. So, we'll do that, and if he says, that, like, I want a squad roll, I'll give him squad reputation. But hopefully he'll accept that, because that's quite cheap for him, and he'll grow into a good player. Lads, let's see if I can get Alejandro say Maxim. Now, I think this would be a wonderful day to get him. I'm gonna do some. I don't know. I don't know who to get rid of. I might just get rid of Bingham for him, and I might just say seven hundred, maybe six hundred five, just for the bands. See what happens. You know what I mean? He's a really good player, so let's see what happens with him. I mean, I don't think it's gonna happen, but I mean, in life, guys, you gotta you gotta uh, see if anything happens. You know. Right, guys. So play sold. Harry Wally has went to Barnet for one hundred thirty thousand. So see you later to him. Pre-contract has ex been accepted by Tom Bradshaw, so let's uh, do that. So that should be a good deal, guys, coming in um, from Mozart. 
hopefully he'll be good. And some other good news. Whoa, they've accepted it. St. Maxon is coming to polls. Jeez, for Rocky, Rocky Springer, so let's just sort his wages out. Right, so yeah, let's sort his wages out. I'll just say five and then crucial, and let's see if he accepts. Now, I know him, MGH, and his uh, thingy with his, his career mode with Porter, if he's got him. And I'm not copying off him, like obviously, because probably loads of people have, have signed him. Um, but I thought he'd be a good player to us, saying so, you know, when he with pills and that, so I thought let's have, let's have a go. But well, we've got a game against Warzor here, away, and again, I'm going to sim it. 2-1. <laughs> Get it. Oh my god, he's accepted that, jeez. Right, so guys, we have signed Allianz St. Maxim. Now, I kind of think, well, I kind of regret signing David Goodwillie now. I wish I never done that because I didn't think this could ha actually happen. But I'm gonna go ahead with the deal anyway because then we have him, Tom Bradshaw, Marvin Sardell, and um, yeah, so that's a good signing. I mean, look at that. He's 19 years of age. He's six. He's six. He's, he's, he's 68 overall. I mean, his stamina could do with some uh, improvement, which I'll do. His finishing's class. He's got four star skills, four star weight foot, and that's what you want to see in a club. What I'm waiting for guys is some. Um, what you call them? Some people to sell because we've got like Fennec and that on the transfer list, and no one wants to buy him. Someone just buy him, please. Right, guys. So on the last hour, and that is it for the January transfer window, and that is bloody brilliant. Into February now, nearly finishing season two. Fucking hell. Yeah, that sort of thought for like before the episode ends. Let's do a training thing. Let's get maximum. Um, Maxim, sorry, get his stamina up and let's see if we can get anyone else's uh, attributes up. You can see De Silva is absolutely smashing it. He's, uh, he's just unreal, but Maxim has got 58 stamina, so that's all right, I guess. All right, guys, let's do a squad report, a quick one anyway. So you got De you got Daniel Bentley doing good. The goalkeepers are, the other ones are all right. You got the right back, don't he's smashing it, Sam Richards and Boxall. De Silva is absolutely amazing. I'm glad he's a free agent. We've got Bradley, we've got Johnson, Harrison's done happy, apparently but I'm getting played. You can see all the rest. Carroll's done it with 60 years, and I mean, that is absolutely amazing for a left back. It was 25. Henry was on loans, all right. Same with uh, Magna. McLashen's a 63 now, which is class. Um, Naismith's a, a 62, which is good. Jake Chris, 62. Woods is 65. And you can see the rest, guys, while well, I just taught you know. Hawkins has went up. I mean, this is a brilliant team. I mean, Banton has went up. By two, and you can see those attributes, man. And you can see the rest. Ian Atchow's going to buy three. And I mean, he's not going to be at the club next year. That's why I've signed Maxim and good with and Tom Bradshaw. I mean, Tom Bradshaw can play out on the right, so you know. But Marvin Sardell, it's going to look like he's not going to even be playing next year. Um, but the same with these, like Scotty Fennick, Oates, and that. I can find why he's leaving anyway. So, right, lads. So that's it, guys. So today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, Leave a like, guys, subscribe for new, and uh, next episode, um, you might have a face cam depending on the games. Um, I might have a FA Cup game, so I'll have a look after this episode, and I'll just let you know, because I don't want to give anyone any secrets. Um, so, wait and see what next episode brings, if it's a, a live one with face cam, or it might be just, you know, I've recorded it and then talked about it. So, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe for more from yourself, and I'll catch you all in your videos.